Mr. Oliver Smedley, now he proudly announced chairman of the Keep Britain Out campaign, argued with a sincerity which the conference acknowledged without giving him too much sympathy. Which is to ensure that it does not deteriorate into a group of states surrounded by high tariff walls, then uh, that is the right spirit to go in if we go in at all. But in my view, the whole of this debate is totally unrealistic because when the time comes, there isn't the slightest chance that we shall go into the common market at all. Not the slightest chance. <laughs> politically, it is a non-starter in this country, and politically, it is a non-starter so far as the countries that are already in the common market are concerned. And it is wishful thinking of the most typical liberal de uh, uh, description to think that it is going to happen because it is not. And politically, the Liberal Party are going to find themselves in the position, and this, I believe, is due to the baleful influence of our mother figure, or is it grandmother figure, or mother-in-law figure, I don't know which it is, the, the influence that there is in this party, we are going to find ourselves defending the policies of the most disastrous Tory Prime Minister we have ever had. Mr. Frank Ware moved this resolution. What I ask you to establish here today is the broad decision that some system of integrated planning must be tried in this country. A five-year plan, not only for economic reasons, but because Britain needs a psychological shake-up. You mentioned the difference between socialist planning and liberal planning in your speech today. What is the difference exactly? Well, assuming you really mean planning rather than controls, nationalization, restrictions, these are not real plans. Um, a plan is something which envisages national targets or trying to get somewhere and knowing where we are trying to go. But beyond that, we are using and channeling the aspirations of the people. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ware.